Good day and thank you for joining us. In today's lesson we'll be carrying on with our algebra and today we'll be looking at solving algebraic expressions, okay? Using the horizontal and vertical methods, so that's horizontally and vertically. So, very important thing to note before we do get started with solving algebraic expressions is this right here, okay? Like terms, okay? Our like terms are going to be very important to us. And our like terms are basically those terms that are structured exactly the same. If I had a, let's say I had a x and a 2x, okay? These are like terms because they both have x. There's an invisible one in front of this x. They are structured exactly the same. If I had, let's say, um, 2x squared and 3x squared, they are both x squared so they are like terms okay so we more look at the variable and the exponent to determine that okay if i had for instance let's say 2x squared but here i had 6 these are not like terms okay this is x squared and this is a constant term there is no variable or coefficient i mean there's no variable or exponent okay so these are not like terms so that's what we're going to look at mostly when we are solving these algebraic expressions so if we look at here the first example we can see we're doing first horizontal method here okay so that's just going to be your standard um left to right your your expressions are going to be written out as this and we'd be solving in this horizontal state okay so first thing we do is find what our like terms are so what we usually do is we identify that by shapes or by colors okay so i'm going to use different colors because i've got many colors over here so in this case i have a 2x over here so i'll mark that with a blue so i'm going to look for anything that's a like term and i can see i have a negative 4x okay that's 4x it's structured the same as the 2x so that is the like term okay so i mark it with the same color then I can also see over here, I have a positive 3, which is structured the same as this positive 1 over here, okay? So they are like terms, okay? So what I do from here is I look at the terms that I have underneath the same color, and I'll either add or subtract those terms from each other only. Only from each other. We only add and subtract like terms, okay? So I'll say uh, equal to, so we have... 2x minus 4x we know we'll get minus 2x then we have positive 3 plus 1 and that will give us plus 4 and just like that we've used the horizontal method to solve for this example over here so that's simple all we're doing is we're identifying the like terms we're going to either use shapes or colors and whatever has the same shape or same color, we add and subtract them from each other only. Okay. Moving on. We have question number two over here. So we can see we have A, right? And its exponent is one. So there is no exponent. We have another A here without an exponent. So that's a like term. And 5A, negative 5A is also a like term. Okay. And then here we have b, so this is negative 2b, and this is negative 4b. So also another thing I need to highlight is this over here is a term. This over here is a term, including that sign that is in front of it, okay? And this over here is a term. Once again going to say minus 2b that is a term minus 4b that is a term so you know now what you are minusing from what and which signs you're using for which term okay so using that we have a plus 3a minus 5a so a plus 3a that's going to give me 4a minus 5a is going to give me negative a okay so you can see there how also using this box over here can help us see what is the whole term and what i need to use okay 
then looking here at the red now, which are our B's, we have minus 2B minus 4B. And that will give us minus 6B. Okay, and that would be our final answer in this example. Sorry, my P looks like a 6. Just try and fix that. Yeah, okay. So we have minus A minus 6B. Moving on now to our last question for the horizontal method. Let's go again with our steps. And we can see here we have a m squared, okay? So that's 8m squared. Let's try and look for any other m squareds. Here we have a positive 2m squared. And we have, okay, so that is going to be all of our m squareds, okay? So I'm just going to add in the box so I don't get confused with the signs. Now we go with our red. We have, sorry, we have n squared, okay? So this positive 7n squared. Then we have minus 3n squared, okay? So that's our other n squared over there. I'm just complete here. I was busy putting in the box. So I could have the sign with the term, okay? Because that sign over there is part of the entire term there. And then we'll grab our last color. Let's go with this. And we have mn, okay? So we have negative 6mn plus 4mn, okay? So... We are getting a lot more familiar now with identifying which terms are like terms and how we would point out what are the different terms, okay? By using this box, we can see the negative goes with this number over here or with this term, the positive goes with this term over here. So this is going to help us break up the expression so we are able to work it out more easily, okay? And then simple, we go left to right again. So we're going to work with m squared first. So this is 8m squared plus 2m squared, that is going to give us 10m squared, okay? So now we move over on to the n squareds. So now we have 7n squared minus 3n squared. That is going to give us 4n squared, right? And then we'll move on here to negative 6mn plus 4mn, okay? So negative 6mn plus 4mn is going to give me negative 2mn. Okay, so that's all we've done there. We've identified which are the like terms. And so we could add and subtract them normally. Okay, so now we move on. Now we're moving on to our vertical method. Okay, and they typically ask the questions in this sort of manner. And I'm going to show you guys how we can work from this into the expression that we are trying to work out, okay? So it says your vertical method, subtract the following, okay? So we're subtracting 2a minus 3 from 4a plus 1, okay? So very important when we see this from, okay? Let me just highlight this from. When we see from, whatever comes after from, that is what we will write down first, okay? So, if we do that, we have 4a plus 1. But now, here, we're going to put this into brackets because that is what they've asked. This is a, s a separate expression from that, and we're trying to combine them into one expression to find a sum to work out, okay? So they're saying subtract 2a minus 3 from 4a plus 1. So we have 4a plus 1 there. So we're subtracting 2a plus 3, 2a minus 3 from that. And now you can see why the brackets are important here. This brackets on the left will fall away. But because we have brackets here on the right hand side, it's going to times in there, okay? But we'll see how that works now in our vertical method, okay? So our expression is looking now is... 4a plus 1 minus 2a minus 3. Okay, so we'll put this into our vertical method, okay? Now remember, when we get examples like this, we can answer them vertically and horizontally, okay? This over here on the right-hand side could be used to work it out horizontally. But I'm going to put it into the vertical method now. And how it's going to look is, so we put obviously in our 4a plus 1 first, okay? So we'll have 4a 
plus 1 over here, right? And it says subtract this from that, okay? So we'll put in here, subtract, and we'll have, so this is a very important part, we put like terms underneath each other. So we have 2a minus 3, okay? So that's in brackets now. So because there's brackets there, this negative is going to times into the brackets, okay? So what's going to happen is this 2a over here is going to become negative and this 3 is going to have a positive in front of it, okay? And obviously that negative now will fall away. Cool. So now that we've gotten to this point, we can work out the answer. So looking here, we have 1 minus 3. So we get negative 2. Okay. Sorry, wait, we're going to work from left to right. My bad. So we get 4a minus 2a. Once we do that, we get 4a minus 2a is going to give me 2a. So it's going to be positive 1 plus 3. So we can get positive 4. Okay. And just like that, we've gotten our final answer there. Okay. So as you can see, what's happened is we brought the first, the second term down here, right? Because we're saying substituting the first term from that. So the second term we bring down first. We put in the minus, we put in this term in brackets. The reason it's in brackets is because there were initially two different expressions and now we're bringing them together. So we have to say, okay, these are two different expressions and this negative has to times into the brackets, which we've done here in this second step over here. If we do not do that, we end up getting a different answer, which is going to end up being the wrong answer. Okay. So now moving on from that, let's move on to the second example and hopefully it'll be a bit simpler. I'll move through this more fluidly and we can try and make it a bit easier to understand. Okay. So we'll work from this second term. Okay. So we'll put that down first. So we have 4a minus 3b, right? Once, let me just put more space in between so we don't get confused. So we have 4a minus 3b, right? And remember, we write it down first because it's after the from, right? Now we're putting in the minus a plus b. Okay? Remember, it has to be in brackets because remember these two were initially two different expressions. Now we bring them together into this example. So we're putting the second one into brackets. Okay. So once we put it into brackets, this A becomes negative and this positive becomes negative here as well. So this B now becomes negative. Okay. So that can go away now. So now we can do the final working out. Okay. So what's going to happen is we're going to work from left to right. So we have 4a minus a. So we get 3a. Okay. Then we have negative 3b minus b. So we get minus 4b. Okay. So we've worked that out now. So we will move on to our final example now. And this is going to use the vertical method. But instead of minusing, we are going to be adding the two okay so it says here add the above expressions so we're going to it doesn't matter now which order we put these in so we'll put this in as 4x squared plus 2x minus 4 and this can be plus so we can put this in brackets okay but the only reason why we won't put it in the brackets is because the whole expression will remain unchanged anyways. Okay. I'm going to show you now what I mean. Because remember now when we dealt with the negative, when we're dealing with subtraction, we had to times the negative into the second bracket. Okay. But now we're dealing with addition. If I times this plus sign into this bracket, all of these terms will remain unchanged. Okay. So if I times a, I mean, I times the positive into negative 5x squared, it stays negative 5x squared. This 3x stays positive 3x and this 8 stays positive 8. Okay. 
So we don't necessarily need the brackets, so we'll remove them over here. And from here, it's just basically a simple working out, okay? We're working up, down, from left to right. So let's deal with the first terms over here. So we have 4x squared minus 5x squared. So we're going to end up getting negative x squared. Okay. Now we're moving on to the second term. We have 2x plus 3x. So we get 5x. And then we have minus 4 plus 8. So we get positive 4. And just like that, we get our answer. Okay. And just to show you guys how we can do both vertical and horizontal method for this type of example, we'll do the, the horizontal method as well. So we have 4x squared plus 2x minus 4. And we're adding it to minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 8. So this can also be a way for you to confirm whether your answer is correct or not. So we're going to use our colors, okay? Actually, wait, we'll first just get rid of those brackets. So this is going to stay as is. And remember, with addition, it's not going to change anything that's happening on the inside. So that adds that plus sign will fall away. We're just timesing the positive into this bracket. So it's going to stay 5 minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 8. So now what we do is we identify our like terms as we did before with horizontal method. So this is 4x squared minus 5x squared okay that's the x squared sorted so we'll just put that in like that and that then we move on to our x's our, our normal x's so there we go we got those that's a plus 2x and this is a plus 3x and then we move on to our constant terms of here minus 4 and positive 8 So if we work that out now, so we're going to work with our x squared first, 4x squared minus 5x squared is going to give me negative x squared, positive 2x plus 3x, that's going to give me plus 5x, and minus 4 plus 8 is going to give me positive 4. And as you can see here, the answer that I've gotten over here corresponds with the answer that I got over here. So straight away, I can see I can work out both horizontal and vertical method and get to the same answer, which also confirms that my answer is correct. Okay, so that's going to do it for our recorded lesson on vertical and horizontal methods solving algebraic expressions. I really hope that this was informative and you guys enjoy.